has come to our family. two antivenoms and one heal to use so we might as well use it that'll take off two stress and one health um, two stress and one, uh, so two stress and one health is not really gonna help it'll take this <laughs> you can take uh, you can take two stress off of one of your guys though because those are gonna flip once we're done one so. two yeah no just one or yeah. you can take one each yeah and I'll one do health. one each um, here you're gonna heal ten so Somebody that has more than that could take one of those off for that bandage, just so we use up our... Yep. Okay. Got it. Nice shot. All right. So we're back in town. We're going to draw our event card. And uh, we're going to take care of all these things, too, in yep. town, right? Okay. Yep. So the first thing that happens there... Oh, my gosh. The feast! The feast. Okay, before we do the feast, so for every affliction you have, you're going to get rid of the affliction, you're going to flip that over where it sits, and you're going to take a negative quirk instead. Okay. So that and that happens. And we take negative quirk up here. So I'm also thin blooded. Oh, so every time you get blight, you get an extra blight for three turns. Oh, jeez, please. And down here, I have a weak grip and I'm nocturnal. So oh. if we camp, uh, awesome. plus whatever, I also get one stress. So if we ever so camp, that's when our torch goes up. Oh, that's when our torch goes Anytime up. Anytime our torch goes up, you take I a stretch. Get yes. <laughs> that is so. <laughs> that is. <laughs> that's why you're nocturnal. I'm not a nocturnal person. So <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You're a weak, weak grip <laughs> nocturnal, <laughs> and a thin-blooded bad gambler. Yes. Well, that makes sense. Problem is, we have one day to prepare. Oh no. One. Alright. So each hero can choose to fully restore either your stress or your health. Look at that. Wait, what happened? Ooh. You gonna fully restore your health or your stress? So oh, each hero? Yep, right now. Oh, well. Stress, stress. I'm good. Health, health. We're all good. Look at that. But we, now we have one day to prepare, so that's... That's not bad. Okay, that's not... Solid. I saw the one when you yeah, flipped it yeah. over, and I was like, oh, no, man! Typically, if it has a one day, that means it's got a pretty good thing down here, yeah, but it's gotcha. got four days. This is not so great. Right. Gotcha. So, all right, so starting with the Crusader, I already handed out oh, our these two go, experience these points each. Well. So everybody has their experience. Those are our rooms. Mm. Okay. Hmm. What do I get to get rid of diseases at the sanitarium? Mm -hmm. I, I need to get rid of a th uh, lethargy. Get, yes, you do. So, well, we gotta go in order, right? Yeah. Let me need to roll for this guy first. All right. Go Groundskeeper. Ahead. Goes He's to gonna go for. <laughs> He's gonna cover up the sanitarium for our one day. Man. No healing. No disease. Stupid groundskeeper. Like, whoa, wait, wait! You that's can't come the, in here. He's got. That's like a the guy. Barricade. That's the guy when you go into Walmart and you really have to go to the bathroom, the and they're in there the cleaning the bathroom. Yep. Man. Um. Oh, duty shoots. Go rethink that. <laughs> oh man. Well, I was gonna do that, but. Maybe I should just get rid of these two instead. Mm -hmm. Remove two quirks at the Abbey. Ah, books. 
for five bucks. How much money do we have? Oh, we have 12 bucks. We got no money in that oh, whole bunch of snapper doodles. What do you that, guys need to do? That one was rough. Well, I was going to level up, but leveling up a hero costs four. So we could level up heroes, but that's going to burn a bunch. Mm -hmm. If you removed, what does he need to do? The Crusader? The Crusader, is, the cr Crusader is good to go. The only thing I'm talking about are my two, my, my quirks. Uh -huh. So I would like to send one of my guys to the Abbey. Probably this guy because these are That's really bad and I'm a lower yep. hit point character. So All right, five bucks. Get rid I'd of your quirks. I'd really like to go there and five bucks get rid some, gets rid of my quirks at least. You probably got a five. Oh, I got a five right here. All right, seven left. So, what's the Crusader? Crusader's well, saying everything's okay. Well, here's the thing. No, that's the only thing. Only as for a second. No, can't do that. I was saying we could do Zealous Speech, but nah. I could just... Well, yeah, we're only going to get one person to level up anyways. Um, I could I can... go here and pilfer... Give me a random chest. See if I can make us a little bit more money. It won't be much, but... Yes, you can. Ten, ten, ten. Yeah. Look at that! <laughs> Man! So, alright. Well, that's her turn. That's her one thing she can do. So, we got these two left. So, now I could, I could level up... I was thinking about leveling up one of my healing skills is why. Okay. Or I could just level up her level, but I can send the Crusader over here to the blacksmith and gain a one off dodge or damage boost. It's just a one time thing. Yeah, I know. But it could come in handy. Yeah. I mean Good. Um, Yeah. Okay. So should I I don't think I should just level her up uh, Or do we want to go to the no bad wagon? I'll make her seven. You could buy well you, it costs eight to buy a trinket, so Oh, it does? Yeah. But we get to we see what they are? You do. We actually, get, yeah, you draw three common trinkets there if you want to go there and buy, so. Hmm. Where's bracers? That one's upside down too, but. I was trying to see what the Vestal is. She can go up to 17 hit points. skills though. She doesn't really get attacked. Nice. That's really Turned cool. Off. Scout without suffering any stress. Mm. Accuracy plus two when in ooh, warrior's bracer. Um, well, they actually pretty good. Minus one movement or minus one dodge. Dodge. Yeah, so the top is the Adam. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. That'd gotcha, be a pretty gotcha. good one, too, to give him a movement sometimes. Uh, the Crusader, yeah. And it costs eight. Dodge, Do we have enough money him. for that? Have you already uploaded? Uh, no, up so I person? could spend two. Uh huh. Oh, two of my. <laughs> <laughs> I could spend wounds. two of my wounds. I could spend two to send her here to upgrade my heal. And then you could spend eight. I think upgrading her skill is probably better than upgrading her level kind of hmm. I think I'm going to upgrade a heal because I think that we're going to get you know if we get in a boss battle I'm hoping that will help all right so I think I will come down here and buy the speed stone okay so we can either do three and three or I can do a five Take that five. Okay. I'm going to upgrade Divine Grace. It's good for now. Alright, I spent the eight and I bought the Speed Stone. Okay. Alright, and any of these get turned up if they're not already. Okay. And we are done in town. It's time to go.
All right, so we are headed into the third mm -hmm. level one dungeon. Yep. Is that right? And the bosses, or the boss, the necromancer himself, the one that's been causing all of these problems, is in this dungeon somewhere. And so there's some, you know, some magical things that happened that uh, went into setting all this up. So JT, explain kind of where we are with that. Yeah, here's the necromancer. Uh, he is... How does this guy move around? He's got chains all over him. He's carrying a scroll. He's got this... I don't know. He looks rather... Uh... He's a modified crusader. Yes, he is. All right. Uh, the boss has deny. his own card. He has his own dungeon. Yep. Um, when we set up his dungeon, you pick a random map just like you would normally. Um, but there's all these outside locations. We happen to pick a randomize a dungeon that has five of those. Five? Um... The boss is always going to be on the outside of the map somewhere. So he is in one of these five locations. We have to find him and defeat him. Um, it's him or us, so we can't <laughs> leave. Either he dies or we die, um, and that's the end of the game. So Checkers or wreckers? Checkers or wreckers. If we beat him, <laughs> we go to the level two dungeons. All right, so here we go. Face the threat. Uh, the threat has shown itself. Now is the time to strike, find its lair, and eradicate it. So special rules. Set up this dungeon according to the boss quest rules, which are in the rulebook. Uh, you can't return to the hamlet before you defeat the boss. And once we defeat the boss, everybody gets three experience points, and there was much rejoicing. There was much rejoicing. So uh, we're going to draw a random card now for the the room that comes out yeah nope. no nope. we have to we do all are... this stuff first we got to roll for our we get to go do this stuff we got to oh. roll some more dice first so we are all right. provisioning to go in oh, hey, hey, hey. we're provisioning to go in finish off this necromancer <laughs> no torches exactly oh my goodness gracious no torches who needs torches me <laughs> Small hand. Yeah, right. Me. Um, all right. So there we go. Um, we are going to scout. Of course. All right. We're scouting. Scouting, scouting, scouting. Let's stress each. Now, what happens if we don't scout? Let me ask if that question. If we do not scout, then instead of rolling one exploration dice per person, we roll two per person. But we don't take stress. We don't take the stress. We just have to deal with which twice as many dice. Right, which could give which you... More, much more, more than one stress, yeah. All right, yeah, so that's why we're... we've been scouting most of the time. And we're it's... heading to a trap room. All right, here we go. Highwayman, he's hungry, and the Crusader found a trap. Look at that. All right. Crusader first. Uh, Crusader found a trap. There's only one shovel. There's only uh... one shovel. Crusader gets hit a lot more than she does. I'm okay. This is true. This uh, thank you for taking one for the team, Grave Robber. Mm -hmm. It's about time. I'm gonna flip. <laughs> I'm gonna flip on you during the boss battle, just so you know. I'm gonna flip on you. <laughs> All right. Um, and food. the highwayman is one food. Is hungry. Should I eat before you left? I don't know. Okay. I forgot. We're out of food. We got bandages. We got enough for blight and bleed. Um, but other than that, all right. She's gonna get attacked by a trap. Accuracy seven modified. Ooh. All right, that's two damage. Traps have a crit of one. Crit of one. Way. Yep, crit of one. Okay. And stressful darkness. We have no torches, so I'm gonna take two stress. Oof. Oof, oof. Alright, we go to the trap room. We each take two damage. Split however you'd like between your health or stress. One, two, three, uh, just give me one and one. One and one. <clears throat> one health each. Yep, yep. And... I think she's going to take two stress. Man. Okay. Uh, ready to take a stress? <laughs> so we can oh, scout? My. <laughs> yes, this sure. Scouting is fun. All right, what do we get to see? Oh, look, combat room. Oh, boy. It's the... Uh... Highwayman. 
Oh. Crusader. Yay! There you go. Nothing for the Crusader. Wonderful. All right. So Highwayman first. No food. No food. Two damage. Two damage. You starving. Starving right. Marvin. Another trap. Gets the Grave Robber. Two more damage. Oh, dear. She's only got seven, uh, six left. No, seven, seven left. left. Healthy as a horse. <laughs> and one damage. A rather sick horse, but still. A rather sick horse. Still a horse. One that's still alive. One damage, one stress. Okay. And we get to go to Come our back. first encounter room. Yeah. Uh, if we shuffle these or not. But. Okay. I think we got this, man. I'm we feeling do. good. As long as the boss is right there. I'm in feeling the middle. positive. We're gonna go straight like uh, express elevator. Innovation. Going down. Innovation in chamber. No, the invocation chamber. Innovation. We've already been there. Innovation. Yeah, this is where they've. Uh, this is where the, uh, oh, the, the 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 gnomes are working to come up with all of their new inventions. All right, so we've already seen this one earlier. The invoker's the last monster each round always moves towards the invocation area. And uh, if there is a monster here at the end of the round, then all the heroes take two stress. Uh, two stress. Yeah. So there we have that. All right. Here we go. And we'll start with a little bone rabble. Only fitting since we're in the middle of the Necromancer's dungeon. Right. There's got to be some skeletons around here somewhere. Oh, we'll go to the Bone Defender. Now he has armor. That's not cool. And a shield. Although the shield is his armor. It doesn't give him extra, anything extra. And he is... A brigand cutthroat. This guy is trying to earn his wings as a undead soldier. Okay. we got to kill him first. Up but... here. And a Bone Arbalist. This is going to be brutal. We got this. We got it. It's all good. I mean, you got it. I In the Necromancer's it. hood. And we have one chest. Yep. That's it. Just one. Okay. I'll go for the chest. You kill the baddies. <laughs> oh, no. Another chest. Oh, two chests. I got those. Okay, here hmm. we go. Interesting. Starting off with the Speedy Crusader. Crusader. I could move right up there. Mmm, this point one. I could move all the way up there with my little speed stone, but I feel like that's a premature use of my new trinket. Well, the nice thing is the negative one dodge for him is not going to do anything, so. True. So... Um, I will, what is this guy's health? He, he's going to take the half damage rounded up again. And he's got 10 health. And he's got 10. Hmm. All right. Um, uh, sure. Why not? These guys are unholy? Yes. <laughs> Plus one versus unholy. Bring it, baby. All right. So I'm going to use my speed stone. I'm going to go up here, and we're going to use gonna Smite. Holy one. Smite. Smite one, so it's accuracy nine. Crit zero, so seven, that's a hit. So that's seven. Uh, so is it... So it's Half rounded up. Half rounded up, so it's four plus one, five? Is that how that uh, goes? No. Or does it go it's seven plus one, eight. eight? All right, so it's four. It's four. Good, good. Okay. Um, that's it's my turn. It's both my t turns, yeah. All right. Highwayman is next. Highwayman. Highwayman. All right. So, we will... We're gonna go with uh... now. If I move two up here, that means nobody else can move in there. That's true. 
So if he does, he have ranged attack. I imagine he does. He does. His number two is a ranged attack, not his number one. <laughs> his number two is a ranged attack. <laughs> Come on now. Um, actually, his slice and dice is actually uh, will hit two people in the same room. So. Oh boy. Okay. So we'll just move one. Be. We'll just move one, and then we'll do a pistol shot. Um. Yeah, we'll do pistol shot. So that's accuracy nine. Uh, so it's just accuracy nine, but uh, crit one. Yep. Oh, he hits. Okay. That's five more damage. Cut in half. Uh, yeah. So four. No, uh, three. Mm -hmm. Five and half is four. Kids. Hey, stay in school. <laughs> All right, say no to drugs. <laughs> no, say do, no to drugs. I don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say no. That's point. <laughs> say no to drugs. All right. The bone rabble. He wants to attack the closest. One, two, one, two. So he wants to attack the crusader. And he wants to do a bump in the night. <laughs> so he's going to move one space, which is all his movement, and that's as far as he can get. So Actually, that's, that's really hit. bad. That's really bad. So if he well, it's to, at the end of the round, so we got to get him out of there. We before. have to kill him, but that's all he does. Okay. All right, Grave Robber. So, now we have a problem. So, <laughs> he's defense six. And her best attack is not going to do six. Unless she gets crit. And her crit chance is zero. Um, throw daggers with a range of one or two. So, if she goes here and throws a dagger at him. On a one or a two, he will go away. So, all right. Come on, one or two. Accuracy otherwise is nine. Oh. Okay. So he's going to take four damage. Hmm. This is not looking good for the home team. That is her turn. Okay. Bone, Bone defender. defender. He's in the defensive position. Bone Defender is he ready. He wants to... That's right. He wants to do an axe blade against the closest person. So me. An axe blade the Crusader. Um, accuracy is 7 because of our torchlight. Mm -hmm. Crit chance 1. Uh, crit chance 1. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and use my minus 1 mm -hmm. uh, dodge. Because I ha well now well, that'll be on um oh yeah I guess you could can I yeah is that right mm -hmm. yeah it can be a minus one dodge you don't have any so dodge. I don't have any dodge so I'm gonna use that yep and he misses he misses <laughs> and you didn't even need to dodge <laughs> just right off your helmet doing that's right he rung my bell all right. The cutthroat now. Oh dear. He is a different story. He's in the range of stance, so he wants to do a slice and dice against the most crowded room, which just happens to be where the crusader's at because he's by himself and he's mm. in front. No, he's going after the crusader because he's in the aggressive stance. Yep. Range of one, accuracy eight, um, so accuracy seven, crit chance one. Why is it seven? Because. Uh, oh yeah, because of that. that. Um. I could add plus one to my dodge, which would make it six. I think you can actually only use that once per per turn. round. Per round. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's your Three. It's not a crit, but okay. it does hit. Four damage and a debuff for two. All right, let's give me a fiver. And debuff for two. Mm-hmm. How's your health? Not so Man, bad. I'm feeling good. All right. I'm just getting warmed up. All right, Vestal's turn. The Vestal does not have the speed or the range to kill that guy. Oh, oh no. 
So this is here. Gonna walk forward one and do divine comfort on the grave robber. Six. So that's two health that here. Works. Two health here. Two health there. Let's get done that. Alright. That's your turn. Okay, so the last guy, he doesn't want to he doesn't he want to attack to anybody. He just wants to move right there. It says if any monster is here, so it yeah, doesn't compound. It doesn't compound, but we each get we two each stress. Take two stress. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. Not our most productive round. We did some. I don't know about y'all, but we did some damage over on our side of the dungeon. It's just that the dude's got a lot of armor. He's got a shield on, so. I was gonna say prove it, cause <laughs> I don't see it. I'm about to prove it. Our, our side of the room's about to be empty. I'm just turn that thing over. He's like. All right. Look at my family. So if those guys are there at the end of this round, another two. So. So do something about it. All right. I'll try. <laughs> Crusader, you're up. All right, Crusader is up. Uh, let's see. We will first of all do some might one. You need to get rid of your debuff. Yep. All right, so smite one. Accuracy nine. Yeah, that is a crit. Is it a crit for smite? Oh, it's crit zero. Oh, I don't have, dang it. I don't have anything to buff it up, do I? So that's seven damage. Seven damage, so it's it's Wait. four again. Okay, well, that's not to beat him. All right. So he goes back Blip. to the pile. And that was my first one. Yep. So now... I can say, bruh, you're not even a... Oh, I can Why go over here, throws? yeah. I, I, I don't wanna, I wanna talk to the human that oh, is in okay. here helping all the no, skeletons. No, yell at the skeletons. Okay, I'll yell at the skeletons. There. Zealous, zealous accusation over here. And we have a crit in uh, accuracy nine. Got it. Okay. So that's uh, five damage to both of them. I think the Bone Rabbler is dead. Yes, some rebel is dead, so he's out. Right on. And that's him. Alright, that's him. So let's see what's up next. Highwayman. The highwayman. Um let's see eight and six for the yeah, arbalist. We really need to get him out, right? Mm -hmm. And we have line of sight to that area. Yep. So, um, we'll do pistol. Ah, oh, I need six. I need six. He needs six. Mm mm mm. I Just, can probably take him out. Yeah, okay. So, I'll get. Well, yeah, if I hit him with pistol shot, I'll definitely take him out. But. I won't be able to get two attacks in. That's what I was really wanting to do. No big deal. Should I should I cut out? You want me to not worry about him and go after this guy? Yeah, I'll get that guy. Yep. Okay. I'll get the arbalist. All right. One so. One way or another. Oh way or another. I'm gonna find you. I wanna get you, get you. Okay. Pistol shot. Um. We're just gonna stay there. Accuracy nine, crit one. Okay. It's a four, so it's five damage. Okay. He has three left. Um, I can't do anything else. I can't get grape shot blast because he's too far away. And so, not much I can really do about it. And I'm gonna stay here be just in case he doesn't get that, you know, mm -hmm. damage. Everybody in one area, that area of effect. Okay. So I'm just going to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, What's his thing? What? <laughs> I think we'll use damage stone on that. Oh, is that plus give three? give a plus three. Right on. Yeah. Take it. Poor guy. 
Okay, so let's recap mm -hmm. because at the beginning of this shit? round, there was four guys. On there the were four guys on the table. <laughs> I'll do my best to get some of those chests off while we're here. <laughs> okay. So and then the other thing is, is because he's the last one in, he's gonna try to stay in the center. All right, grave robber's turn. Do I go for a chest, or do I no? Just kill him. Yeah. All right. We don't want to take no more stress. All right, that's true. I'm gonna throw a dagger at him. Crit chance two, accuracy nine, accuracy eight. Eight. Got it. Full damage. Oh wait a minute. He's the arbalist. He has one. So he actually, you needed a seven. No, I needed an eight. I got a nine. Oh, yeah, you're I good. got a nine. You're good. You're good. Yeah, I already took that into account. Okay, okay. And then I'm going to throw flashing daggers at him. I don't know why they're flashing. Flashing daggers. Yeah. Is this like sparkle fingers? <laughs> you yeah. been hanging around with the vessel too long. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'll do poison darts because the accuracy is ten, so it's nine. Ooh. And that's a crit, so I will heal one stress, and he will die. <laughs> Vestal has sparkle fingers. You got flashy daggers. Mm, flashy daggers. In and case you didn't know, you might have heard our eyes rolling over here with your flashy daggers. Oh, come on. Look at this poor dead <laughs> arbalist. <laughs> he did not survive. Okay. All right, so we're good. All right. See? Easy peasy. Wasn't the worst one ever. Lemon squeezy. All right. Now, we are scouting. Of course. So we take a stress. And my Vestal is one away from tipping the scale. Oh, I'm two away. Nice. Oh, All right, let's so. scout first. See what we got. A darkness room. Is that not him? We don't want that one. No, that is not him. <laughs> Highwayman. Yes! Crusader. Oh. oh, oh. Alright, starting pile. with the Crusader. Alright, Bone Pile needs a shovel, one but that damage, ain't there, huh? One stress. One damage, one stress? Yeah. Man, this is where I live. Okay, same for the Grey Robber. Highwayman has nothing. And I get a Curio for the Vestal, please. A Curio? Mm hmm. The Strong Box. Did we do that one before? We didn't do that one. Uh -uh. A long forgotten strong box sits on the cold stone floor. You praise your luck and you open it as a serrated scalpel slashes at your right hand. <laughs> Those stinking <laughs> surgeons leaving their strong box around here? Without losing your courage, you discover some coins and a valuable trinket. So we get a bleed for three. Oh, you get a positive. I get a trinket. And a positive quirk. A positive quirk. Look at that. I'm a warrior of light. Every time the light goes up, I heal two. You got your sparkle fingers. Mm hmm. I also get a Sage's Stone. Gives me plus two accuracy when I'm in the support stance where she is. Man, why do you find all the good stuff? And I get five bucks. Highwaymen and the Crusader over here stumbling through the dust, finding all the sharpy, pointy things. Oh, we should have got ten. Every time we join a dungeon, we get ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that gave us five more, right? Then that gives us five more. Give me another ten, please. Ten. Right on. Twenty-two. Nice. We got a nice strong box and a little bit of a slit on my finger. <laughs> All right. So now, going that way. Yeah, let's go that way. Well, why don't we go here? We can we can find we can get two perimeters at the same time. We could. Okay. I mean, I know we'll have to yep. come All back. Right, let's do it. So we gotta, we gotta roll first. Gotta explore first. All right, highwaymen. No. No. <laughs> Here we go. All right, starting with the crusader. Crusader, Scurio, oh. We don't have it, right? We should. We should. Uh, we should have. Uh, Rested. Should have camped. Ah, Here we go. All right. We fine. Okay. Display. Camp. Why can't the Crusader stay away from the display cabinets? He's like a feng shui person or something That's like right. that. That really shouldn't be over here. Let's move it. Ow! Uh, okay, so there could be valuables left inside. You open it, but you trigger a blade trap. 
As it swooshes by your shoulder, you duck and manage to get slashed on the right side of your chin. Agitated and clearly shaken, you collect the coins found in the cabinet and carry on with your journey. So I get plus one stress. Blank. And I get a negative, uh, a ne negative quirk. max three. If so I'm get, soft. If you get one more, you die. What? Yep. One more quirk, your guy goes, eh, and runs <laughs> off in the dungeon never to be seen again. This is horrible because it actually synergizes with my other negative quirks. Perfect. All right, so I have a weak grip, which gives me, every time I crit, I get a stress. I'm nocturnal, so every time the, this goes up, I get stress. And if I ever get stress, I take a damage. Because yep. I'm soft, <laughs> yeah. apparently. Yeah, all, right, all right, so I also get um, one, two, three... Bleeds. Now we get 10 gold, which we'll never leave this dungeon with. <laughs> well, he won't ever leave this dungeon with at least. Um, all or none in and this And you game. got that? Yep. All right. Goodness. All right. The Stressful darkness. Oppressive darkness over here. And we either burn that or we lose the torch. Let's just lose the torch. Okay. Or lower our light level. Okay. okay. So she's hungry. That's two damage. Don't have any food. We go into the dungeon with no torches, no food. And give me a curio again for the Vestal. Let's see if she has better luck. All right. Alchemy table. We should have. Okay, alchemy table. A table filled with experimental equipment. You pick up a handful of coins thrown on the surface, but you don't notice the sharp needle protruding from one of the Alvex. Alambex. As it pierces through your skin, you let out a worrisome cry. I am anemic. Every time I get bleed, I get more bleed. <laughs> Perfect. My goodness. I get one stress, which is why we should have done this. So I need an affliction. Because she is now afflicted. Oh, yeah, over there. What else did we get on that card? We ain't done with that card yet. Well, we are. No. Oh. Alchemy table? We get five bucks. Uh, did, you got the bleed, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you got five bucks. Okay. And I get this cool affliction. <laughs> this is horrible. A cool, flashy affliction. She is fearful. At the start of my turn, if I roll one or, one two, or two, though. I get two stress. Nah, that's not that bad. All right, I'm going to put it over here so we can all see that she's fearful. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> all right, we're there. Oh, dear. Can we camp now, please? Yes, please. All right, yes, so have get, some. We get 12. Uh, um, it's not going to help her now. So... I say, how much do you need? How are you doing over there? I got six, oh, look at all three. Stress, though. I got a whole mess of stress, man. I'll take, I'll take, uh, I'll take four of it. You take eight of it. I'm going to heal two. And I'm going to take two stress off. And you take the other eight. One, Since the vessel's two. already lost. Three, four, um, three, I went one, two, yep. three, four, no, no three. three, so three, I got five left. Mm-hmm. No, more stress. No, take one more stress each, come on. We got a lot of stress. A lot of so scouts. Five. Uh huh. Leaves you with three. You know what? How much did I have? Eight all together. Uh huh. Blink, blink, blink. Here and use one of these bandages to stop your bleeding. Blink. All right. All right. We are camped out. Now. Ready to get stressed. Okay. So now we're getting stressed. So we yes. can stress. So, so we can check out these two rooms. One's a treasure room. There's 20 bucks in Come there on. somewhere. And there's the boss. <laughs> We're gonna die! Are we going straight for him? Yes. Let's of do course. it. Alright. Alright. Highwayman. Use. Oh, stupid oppressive darkness, whatever that is. Trap. Okay. So this gives me two stress, right? This gives you two stress or let that go down one more. Let's let that go down one more. All right, agreed. Okay, nothing there. Mm -mm. She's hungry. 
starving to death over here. And I got a trap. So, no dodge. Two damage. Ouch. Man, she's getting nailed this turn. Yeah, and I'm actually going to use one of our bandages before we go into battle to get rid of that. Bleed. Yeah, no more bleed, no more negative effects we can get rid of. Mm. Okay, here we you go. Got this. We are going after the boss. Come here, sir. That's right. Okay. Get your roby, raggedy old looking. I'm sorry, sir. Uh huh. That's what I thought you said. I, for one, welcome our new Necromancer Overlord. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> All right, there's the throne room. There he is. Okay. At least we all start in the same spot now. So, <clears throat> we do? I don't want to start with that guy. He gets hit a lot. <laughs> okay. What, she, was she running away? <laughs> yep. Was she like, oh, nope, I'm all out. Alright, Necromancer. Anybody would like to see that? We got 77 health. 77, 77 health. health right and in this the This is front. where the guy is. He's like, yeah. come to me, my pitties. Bring it. So, no other monsters spawn yet. Just him. Oh, he's dead. Yep. We're going to take him out in like three rounds. He's dead. One, two, three, four. Except for he is going to attack and spawn. Now, all of his attacks, he attacks the most crowded room, the most crowded room, and the most crowded room. And I am shuffling just the monster. Oh, come on. Come on, Cletus. Come on. One, two, three. One monster. And I ran Can out of coffee. Attention. That's a bad one. You'll make it. You'll make it. Okay, so when he goes, he's going to summon. And when he summons, that monster's... Um, Initiative card will jump into here too. So does it start with only one monster card in the initiative deck? Yep. Okay. And depending on the boss, some bosses have multiple attacks on their turn. Got it. Okay. But he does have 77 health, so any, any attacks, like you said, the most He's about to have less than 77. Right. Let me at him. Crusader, go get him. Let me at him. I'm going to zealously accuse you. He's um, up there cackling right now. I know, right? I can't even get up there. Sure you can. You can use your... Oh, you don't have your... No, I can use my speed stone. You can use your speed stone. And move a hole too. Yeah. And I'll read you the riot act. See, that deserves a picture right there. That is... That is scroll against scroll. Scroll against scroll. That deserves a picture. Yes, I am taking a picture in the middle of the video, just <laughs> in case you were wondering. That deserves a picture. All right, so here we go. Zealous accusation. Uh, this needs to be flipped around. <clears throat> I feel like this is what the Crusader would do anyway. Lose your debuff there. Huh? Lose your debuff. Oh, yeah, use my lose your debuff. Not that Oops. you care. All right, here we go. This is what would happen anyway. He'd run up there and he'd That's monologue true. for a little bit. Yeah. All right, here we go. Zealous accusation nine. And so that is four. Five damage. Okay. A whole whopping five. He has five. no dodge, no armor. So he takes a whopping five damage. Okay. My words cut him deep. All right. We're going we're gonna to stack his 77 right here. <laughs> okay. All right. So you went. He gets to go next. Oh, no. Now I'm all by myself. But he wants the most crowded room. He's just going to run past you and kill everybody else. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. He likes it. <laughs> he just runs by. <laughs> All right. So he is going to do six feet under. Six feet under. Six feet under. All right. He wants to attack two spaces away to the most crowded room, which would be us. So he's going to step forward one. Say, hi, Crusader. Get out of my way. I'm busy. <laughs> no. Accuracy is ten. No crit chance, just accuracy of 10. So, alright. So, you want to roll it? I'll roll it. Alright, you roll it. You sure you want me to roll it? Yeah, why not? 
Nine. Okay, so that hits everybody. <laughs> For two stress. Well, that's not so bad. Two stress, he pushes himself back. And he summons a bone rabble. Bone rabble. Now we get to find some bone, bone rabble. Just have one ready. Somewhere. Are people yes. getting yes. people getting uh, tired of that now? Mm, I don't know. I think probably. We're gonna so. find out. So and he does that in the targeted spot. Wow, they pop in right there, huh? Wherever he targets. Wow. He drops a bone rabble on us. Scares us. Raises the dead, then runs back to his throne. I don't know why he runs back, but he talk, he just glides. He needs back to get back to into throne. position for this monologue battle we got going on. Perfect. I'm about to drop the mic on this fool. Okay. Then we're gonna take bone rabbles and shuffle him in. Okay. And we're done. So we only got 72 damage left to go, baby. All right, here we go. Highwayman is next. Highwayman, and that's six damage. Uh, mm, let's see here. Y'all got him? Sure. All right. No, I don't have any uh, up close and personal damage, but okay. You don't? We don't. Oh dear. So you can move away. <laughs> I can move away. And attack. Okay. Um, Although, yeah. Because I can move two and get up here. Mm -hmm. If you do that, at least I could heal you both. You don't have much healing though. But. And I'll do pistol shot. Against the necromancer. Against the necromancer, yeah. So crit one, ac accuracy nine. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Stinking. He's got a hole in his scroll now. He does. He does. That just pissed him off. All right. Way to be. All right. Bone Rabble wants to fight against the closest. Bump in the night. So against the grave robber. Mm -hmm. Stay in the same position. Accuracy of six, critical chance of one. That's the modifier. No. Four. That's a hit. Four damage. One, Ow. two, three, four. She's only got two hits left. You got two hit points left. I shouldn't have. And that's his turn. Long. That's my bad. All right. Grave robber's up. Grave robber cannot and will not attack in the same location. He has... Oh, Necromancer is not immune to Blight. Really? Really. Dude. Light his scroll totem butt up. I'm gonna move one. No. I'm gonna move two. And I'm gonna throw a poison dart at the necromancer. I'm gonna leave the bone ravel all by his lonesome. <laughs> poison dart, <gasps> critical chance, that's a crit. Yes! So all three of us heal one stress. Yeah, that's what I'm liking. Four damage. <clears throat> and how much bleed, how much blight does that do it? Three turns of two blight each. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. That's your turn. That leaves us with the Vestal. Mm -hmm. The Vestal's going to step forward. And it's going to heal the group. <laughs> because we're all in the same spot. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Critical chance, four. Ugh. Negative. Oh, wait. Or do that. Well, that's fine. Critical chance four. Uh, everybody heals two, Blink. including the Vestal. Uh, give me one, please. And one. Okay. I was counting on using your counters. All right, and I have to roll a one d two or a d ten to see if I'm fearful. 
Nope, not fearful at all. Mm -mm. I'm not even scared. Ain't scared. Ain't scared. Okay. Turn number one. We got this, man. This is all, this is all right. Uh-huh. I mean, it's going to take a long time. Do we still only have four rounds? Still only have five, five rounds? rounds? Yeah. Seriously? No. 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 <laughs> that can't be right. <laughs> Say it ain't so. <laughs> it ain't so. <laughs> All right, so we have one, two, make sure I got all my initiative dice. All right, I'm initiative dice. Initiative. So the only thing on this board right now is just this. Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. Yeah, four rounds. You got to do 77 damage or lose. <laughs> all right. Crusaders first. All right. Um, Crusaders, not sure about leaving this guy on our flank. But at the same time... Um, Is the Necromaster considered unholy? I believe he is. Um, Eldritch unholy, yes. Alright, we're done talking. Mm. <clears throat> uh, smite 1, accuracy 9. Crit chance 0. But I hit him, so that's 8 damage. Eight. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Down to sixty, baby. Alright. <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. It's okay. Four. Alright. So this time, he would like to do the crawling dead. Oh dear. Against the most crowded location. Which and is he needs to this be one? yeah, but he needs to be two spaces from it. So he needs to go one, two, three. So we can put him here, we can put him there, we can just put him there. Because he has three movement. Accuracy's ten, crit chance two. So against both of these two. So mm -hmm. they both have a dodge of one. So accuracy eight or accuracy nine, crit chance two. Seven. Okay. So they both take five damage. Five and five. So that puts her at death's door. Give me seven. Seven? Yes, because I'm gonna add two so I can get back the plus three. Got it. Not the best idea, I know. Right. But I'm not whining. I ain't complaining. All right. So she's at death's door. She'll be fine. So we know. She'll be okay. Vestal. She knows her job. Bone rabble's coming. Well, that's all. That, that, just one more bone rabble comes up every time. Every time he attacks us. And every time he attacks, he summons a new bone rabble. I should have got the little dudes out first. Look at this cutie. It's okay. Oh, he's, he's almost so cute, I don't want to hit him. <laughs> he does look kind of <laughs> sad and pathetic. He's like, and look at him, he had a hard life, <laughs> and now he's being made to work. He's supposed to be eternal resting right now. Oh, that's that cultist brawler that we killed earlier. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no, not these don't guys. Don't feel bad for him. All right. Oh, no. First bone rabble. So this guy, he's going to smack this the guy. He's going to smack the Vestal, isn't he? We'll put this shield on here to... To, to denote. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So he is going to, yes, bump in the night against the closest. So he's going to move up with the Vestal and smack her with a club. Accuracy seven. Crit chance one. And three. So he's going to do four damage. I forgot to turn this over. Four damage to the Vestal. So four that's eight. Damage. Ouch. Okay. That's his turn. Next up is the Highwayman. All right, Highwayman. Um, we're going to do... Oh, we should have given him two damage for his bite. Oh, yeah. It's just up to four. Okay, so with the... Um, they only have six damage, yeah? Six health, yep. Uh, six health, I mean, yeah. 
Okay, so. Okay, we can do that. I'm gonna do open vein on this guy first. Okay, they are immune to bleed. Oh, they, oh, that's right. Why is he gonna bleed? He's a skeleton. I know. All right. You never know. Okay, crit chance one. Oh, no, but still hit for five damage. Five damage. Okay. And then we'll do a pistol shot against the right on. Uh, you know what? No dodge. Let's just take the bone rebel out. I'll use my damage stone on him. Okay. Not and gonna then, complain. And then pistol shot, accuracy nine, and a crit one. Bam! So, so you so and we get one stress relief. One stress relief and nine damage on. Nine. So put a tenor on there. Sweet. 28. Bam. Got it. Okay. So this is one, yeah, it's one, two away. I'm in the right position. I just want to make sure I'm not doing anything nope. wrong. Good, good to go, good to go, good to go. All right, Grave Robber's up. Grave Robber is safe-ish until she gets healed, right? So she's going to throw a poison dart. Yeah, smack that man with some more blight. Accuracy 10, no dodge, crit chance 2. Okay, that's 2 more damage. Uh, fiber. Five, or just or 10. 10. Okay, and another stack of Bow. lights. So now, next turn, he will take. He's half dead, four. man. Oh, He's half right. dead, so man. Is, so are we. I'm only. Well, you're. <laughs> We're all half dead, hey, so we know. Hey. Just... He's half dead, that's the point I'm making. He is half dead. Wasn't he supposed to run back to his throne room? Nope. Oh, he didn't do it on that one, huh? No. And then, so I did that, and I'm going to throw a dagger at him. So, accuracy 9, crit chance 3. <gasps> that is a critical. So another stress relief for your highwayman. That is yeah. 8 damage. Five, six, seven, eight. That's Extra right. one damage against blighted creatures. Take it in your face. Okay. Uh, that leaves the Vestal. So the Vestal is going to group heal here. Crit chance four with divine comfort. No. Oh. Still gets it though, right? Still gets it. I can see twelve. Okay. okay, so everybody, you heal for two. Uh -huh. She heals for two. One, two, three. So she's not on death's door anymore. That's good. And she heals for two as well. Okay. And then, can I stun him? I cannot stun him. Um, and we don't care about the torch so much. That's not enough damage. So I'm going to heal um, her again with Divine Grace. Mm -hmm. Crit chance four. And that's a crit. Yeah. That is seven heal. What? Yeah, leveled it up. Dang. Okay. We shall take it. Bro. In the bag? I know we shouldn't say it. <laughs> Too late, I just did. <laughs> in, no, no, in the bag. We'll see. Oh. <laughs> I forgot I rolled my fearful again. Oh right. no. no. No, you're good. Still doing good. She's like, ah. Iron no. will. Yeah. Mm, I think we can do it. Uh. Stress heal. Stress heal. Okay. Oh, I did it again. What? I keep putting in those extra monster cards. Oh, okay. So Only two of them come out? Yeah. yeah. Only two of them should be in there as well. Only two should be in there. Yeah. All right. Man, we ain't got no treasure in here. Oh my God. You know he's got some personal belongings. Where are they? Come on. <laughs> nope. 
He says, you didn't even go to the treasure room? <laughs> that's because sure, we're coming after you, you fool. All right. All right, Crusader. All right, Crusader actually can't get up to the uh, big dog here. No. So what we'll do is we will just move one. And then smack this guy in the face with some heated language. <laughs> with my zealous <laughs> accusation. You um, yell at everybody. I do. I'm like, get out of here, foul demon! Um, that is, that a crit? is a crit one. Is that no, not that's correct? Not crit? Yes. Yes. You critted so he yelling is, at a skeleton. That's right. I... I I cut him deep, Shrek. <laughs> Damage? Nine. Nine. Okay. There you go. Poor little bone rabble. <laughs> All right. He will think twice your turn before you, rising from the other again. You got a stress relief. I got a stress yeah. relief. Highwayman got it. No, I don't, I don't get the oh, stress relief. Oh, you don't, but Highwayman does. Yes. Oh. Oh, crap. Okay, so I critted, so I, I didn't take stress... Well, you technically no. No, because when you crit, you're supposed to go back, but then you take it. Yeah. So all right, I did take it. That didn't it's go a, up. No, it's a minus but, one, a plus one. So I did get a plus one. So I do have to take a damage. Yes. So give me a fiver. We didn't know this was math class. I I, I swear. <laughs> That's a perfect. So, I swear. So when we played this at Gen Con, I had a table sit down, and the healer got a thing that said every time she healed, she took a stress, and every time she took a stress, she took a damage. <laughs> it, was, it was perfect. That's she horrible. Had, it was really bad. Yeah. All right. Anyways. That was the Crusader's turn. Wait. Yeah, I moved one mm -hmm. and then hit. Yeah. Yes. She's like, hey, guys, what's going on? Everybody's like, behind you! Behind you! <laughs> I mean, what? Nice turn. Oh! She doesn't sound like that. She's not <laughs> an old... She's young. Hey, you don't know how... You don't Look know. at that face. Uh, I don't know about that. There's a lot of shadow All in there. All right. All right, so... Oh, Highwayman's turn. Highwayman's turn. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Let's see. <clears throat> we got one to two. We can do a pistol shot. Um... And all you hear this whole time is I know, right? Yeah, he's just continuing Solid. his I'm waiting for your mouth Shut up uh, He's immune to bleed so I can't do anything there So one to two uh, I think I'll just stay here, yeah Or should I move In case move, he does one of those mm -hmm. One of those most crowded room places Yep, you could even move over that way If you want with range two I'll do that. Move over here, range yeah. two. Um, so, pistol shot, accuracy nine, crit two. Here, I'll give you a damage for walking. Oh, snap. Walking Thank socks, you. man. I know, it does. <laughs> okay, so that's a hit. So, five damage. Five damage. I'll switch that out for authority. <laughs> Four to three. Okay, is that your turn? Mm-hmm. All right, he gets to go. No, not before he takes four more damage. All right. <laughs> he wants to. Oh. No, that's just I what he that wants to do. Thought it was a crit roll. He wants I thought to it was do a crit roll. The flesh is willing. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound good at he all. He wants to be one space away from the most crowded space. And it is an accuracy of 10, crit chance of 2. Accuracy against of these 10, two. crit chance of 2. Yep, so it's a 9 against her, 10 against you. 10, so it just hits the Crusader only. That's fine. For 6 damage. What? That's not fine. And he pushes himself back one. 
So is there a back that we like? We can go here, we can go here, we can go there. Um, Probably like it there just fine, huh? Highwayman's already gone, yeah? Probably so. Alright, Bone Rabble is back. They are consistent, at least. Mm-hmm. Okay. So who's left? Grave Romber, Vestal, and Bone Rabble. Alright. There we go. Bone Rabble's next. He wants to do a bump in the night against the Crusader. So, accuracy 7, crit chance of 1. I'm going to keep giving you my dice. 7. Mm. That is full mole damage. Let's give me a fiver. Okay, what's that put you at? 15? Yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so that means she is up. First thing she's going to do is throw a poison dart. Two accuracy, ten. All right. So two more points of damage. And another stack of poison. That's like devastating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're That's really amazing. cool, though. Yep. And then she's going to throw a dagger at him as well. So you're going to ignore that little skelly. That's a nine. His, oh, he doesn't have a dodge, so that's a hit. So that's another four, five damage, because she gets an extra one against a blighted target. So see, as long as she keeps him blighted, she gets to do more damage, too. One, two, three, four, five. Fifty-four. Fifty-four damage. Okay. I'm trying to keep it the Vestal's turn. Visible. So the Vestal is going to do the Divine Comfort, boring as she can be against these or on these two. Um, that is two healing each. Two healing for here. For, yep. So give me a three. Sorry. That's okay. And two for her. She'll take a four. Good thing we got the healing. Oh, I guess she could have taken a one. I can't count. <laughs> um, same time, I should roll my fearful. Nope. And then I'm going to heal him again with divine grace. Great chance of four. No, nope. so you heal five. It's keeping everybody alive. Yes, she Stand, is. Standing in the middle. I know, she's like right in the middle of everybody. <laughs> like ducking and dodging. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Man, one, two, three, four, five. Fifty-four damage. So we got, what, uh, 23 damage left? 23 damage left. We can do this. We got it. <laughs> this is where everything... He's going to spawn like four bone guardians or whatever they're called. Mm -hmm. With the shields and all that. Alright. Yeah, see? Look, here this is the beginning of the end. Right here. Alright. Against... It's going to do... Oh, back to the six feet under. Most crowded area. It's going to stay right where he's at. Accuracy of... Ten. Hmm? So, yep, accuracy of ten. Accuracy of ten. So you can't miss. Um, well, you I can mean, miss the grave robber if you get a ten. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> there we go. So two stress for you, and one damage for you since you took stress. Yeah, I'll take one damage. And then another bone rabble. Because I'm soft. So I don't know the actual answer to this, because the Bone Rabble would have to move out. Something that's there moves out, or he goes he somewhere else? He would have else. to go somewhere else. And we would choose not. where he goes? Yeah. Yeah. Look, he's so he's so sad. He's going to go stand same, in the corner over there. Same dude again, stand in the corner. Um, and then he needs to move one. So here, here, or there. Pick your poison. 
Um, here, here, or here? No, here, here, oh. with the Vestal or one of the two sides. I think he'll go over here in the corner. So that's bone ravel number one. I'm gonna put a shield on this guy so we can see the difference. Okay, mm -hmm. so he's gonna to wanna to do a bump in the night. Against me again, Against probably. you again. Yep. So accuracy seven, crit chance one. Four, four more damage. Dang. Just keeps thumping. Nope, I'll take four of those. Oh, four more damage, yes sir. Yeah. Right on. I can do simple I can't math. Do simple math. Oh, look at that! Who shuffled this? <laughs> what? So are you doing? He wants to do it against the closest person, though, and the closest person is the Crusader, of course. And he needs. They to must be, like the sound it know, makes when they to bang be against the zero, arm. so he can't move in there. Oh, so that's, that's cool. That's cool. All right, so right down the line, Crusaders first. All right. Um. Wait, he went. Did we take off one of these? We did not. We almost missed out on six damage. Dang. Um. Actually, just put a ten in. Put a ten in. Okay. That's sixty. Sixty. All right. <clears throat> All right. So Crusaders first. Um, <laughs> how are you guys doing on health? Good. You're doing good on health. Yeah, we've okay. been, we've so been killing it on healing. We're going to come over here. And he's going to do a zealous accusation. <clears throat> Crit chance of one. On Necromancer. No, Four. but... Splash the pot. So that's uh, five damage. Five. Sixty-five and counting. All right, and Highwayman's a, turn. Yep, Highwayman. <clears throat> um, now, the Highwayman can do... Is he resistant to debuff? Yes. So what does that mean? Resist. What's the difference between one resist? One less turn of debuff. So if you buff, he debuff doesn't. He him, it doesn't hurt. Wouldn't him do then. anything. Okay, <clears throat> but um, it does give me the opportunity of getting two shots on him. So we're gonna do it. Uh, we'll do grape shot first. Uh, accuracy eight. Crit one. So he hits. That's three damage. Okay. And then pistol shot. Accuracy nine. Crit. Two. Uh, missed. Okay. <clears throat> That's that. Alright, her turn. So she still has a range of one, two. So I'm just gonna go tried and true. Poison dart. Crit chance two. Accuracy ten. Two damage. This is an eight. Trade for a ten. That's seventy. That's seventy. Got seven more damage. We can do three more damage. He's done. And he gets that. Oh. No, he's he's done. Well, he hasn't. Only on his turn. It's not his turn We win. Not uh, yet. And that's five more. <laughs> What's that? 75? 75, man. All right. So Vestal's turn. She's going to walk here. Oh, she will smack her in the face. Scoot some sparkly fingers. <laughs> Instead of healing or anything else, what she should be doing. Spirit so fingers. Go back to town. Spirit She's fingers to the sparkly rescue. Sparkly fingers. Yes. Three oh, before that happens. That is two damage. And she doesn't get stressed. So, two damage. That's it. Sparkly fingers. Necromancer has fallen. Yeah! You can take his scroll now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it out of his cold, dead hands. And his and his bone minions fall to dust. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. All right. And then we're going back to town to uh, go into second level dungeons. Okay.
So that was level one dungeons, level one necromancer, yeah. toast, post toasties. And thank you for the Vestal for keeping us alive and providing the uh, spirit fingers at the end there. For the sparkly uh, fingers. Yeah, the, yeah, the spirit, spirit sparkly fingers. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was I, I have to I have to admit when I saw the seventy seven health, I was like, no way. Yeah. But then grave robbers started hitting it up with the blight, mm -hmm. and every single time he activated, he was losing like six health, plus all that damage we were doing to him. So I was like, oh, okay, this is doable. Yeah, as long as she's healing. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was really cool. We kind of kept her off by herself, so she wasn't being inundated with any yeah. people because she wasn't in that area, uh, you know, crowded area. So yeah. that worked out really cool. We were on death door twice. I got to get rid of this crap. Yeah, so this, if you get a fourth one, he's out permanently. Yeah, but we're going back home. So I'll be able to fix this. And when we go back home, she's going to get another one. So yeah. We're how, still, how can I get rid of this stuff? There's a place at the Hamlet, right? Yeah. yeah. So... Perks. Stay out of me, so... Uh, I think this is cool. All right. Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to close it down now. This is the end of this video. We're going to do another video later on. And at the beginning of that video, we'll show uh, our trip back to the Hamlet as we go into the level 2 dungeon. Yes. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for joining us today. We'll be back in a while um, with that next video. I'm Sam Healy. JT Turner. We'll see you on the flip side, folks. Right Thanks on. for joining us. I beg you, deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadow of the darkest dungeon.